Hello, hello! Today we are going to talk about cosine rule. In um, other videos we talked about uh, sine rule. Cosine rule should have cos of something inside it. So let's look with that uh, at this triangle. We can denote the side opposing to angle A with small a, the side opposing to, to angle B with uh, small b, and the side opposing uh, angle C with small c. Cosine rule says that, for example, if we have the angle A, and we are going to include this in our equation, we are going to start with uh, the opposing side and write that the opposing side squared equals this side squared plus this side squared, so b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c, so 2 times b times c, cosine of a times cosine of a. If we are writing cosine rule for angle b, for example, start with the opposing side, square it, so b square equals this side square plus this side square, so c squared plus a square or a square plus b square minus 2 times a times c times cosine of uh, b. And if we look, uh, if, we want to, if, we, if we want to include the cosine of uh, c in our equation, we are going to start with the opposing side, square it, so c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Practically, we are looking at the sides uh, on um, which compose the angle which uh, uh, are on each side of angle c. So a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b. times cosine of c. And if we want to take an example in a problem, let's say that we have a triangle. This, these uh, two rules, cosine and sine rule, are usually used for, uh, ang or for triangles which uh, are not um, right-angled triangles. Yes. So, and we have the triangle ABC. Uh, so denote this with A, this with B, and this with C. We know that AC is 5 centimeters. We know that uh, BC is 9 centimeters. And we know that C is 10 centimeters. And the question is, calculate the size of angle A to one decimal point. So angle A equals how much? One decimal point. Because we have all the sides, uh, we should use the cosine rule, which states that, so we are looking here, states that the, the side opposing to the angle that we, uh, we want to include as cosine in uh, the equation, squared, so a squared equals this side squared plus this side squared minus 2 times b times c cosine of a, uh, and we replace in the equation, uh, or maybe I think it's faster uh, to um, find cosine of the angle A. Okay, let's do that. So 2 times B times C cosine of A equals, equals uh, B square plus C square minus A square and cosine of A would be b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2 times b times c. And now we should replace with the values. So we have b 5 centimeters, which means 5 centimeters square 25 plus uh, c times square uh, 100 minus uh, 9 square, which is 81 divided by, we didn't need the parentheses, I don't know why I put it, the bracket, sorry. I should delete it. Okay. Over 2 times uh, B times C, which is 100. And if we do the computation, we'll get 44 over 100, which means 0 0.44 or not 0.44. But we want the, the angle, not cosine of the angle. So in order to find it, it's very easy. It's applying the inverse function, so cosine power minus 1 of uh, this value dot uh, uh, 0 .0, 0 0.44, and the answer is 
0.9 degrees because the question was to find the size of angle A to one decimal place and we have one decimal place over here. Have a lovely day.